welcome back to my channel hope everyone is doing well if you're back in here from any other previous time hit that like button so let's just jump straight into it so this is going to be part two of my celebrities on manifestation and just to sort of say it right off the bat is that i don't always agree completely with what celebrities do in the lives they live and it's also sort of hard for the average normal person to even relate to a celebrity you know sometimes when celebrities say things we always look at it from a different sort of realm as they're over there and i'm over here but what is important to remember is that once upon a time they were just like you and me so without further ado this is going to be another one of those videos and also the reason i use the celebrities is because there's a way where people use manifestation in a way of getting a cup of coffee or getting a parking space in a busy mall and they're kind of okay with that but when you see them talking about it these famous people rich people celebrities it kind of opens up that realm to oh wow the sky's the limit you can literally do anything so this one i'm gonna jump into right now is from oprah winfrey who i feel is one of the key people in the whole new movement of manifestation in terms of the secret and just a lot of people that she's actually had on her show talking about it but i feel like in this clip right here she really hits the nail on the head at more of a base level and it's it's a lot more clear in the way she describes it in this interview this one was taken from black tree tv it was from a movie with reese witherspoon oprah and someone else and this is going to be her talking about it so this is it right here pleasure to be here thank you this is such a surreal moment for me because oprah you're my vision board for am 2018 really? and i am here so i have manifested this moment Congratulations. <laughs> an honor and you know i'm just curious oprah at this stage in your career and for you all as well do you even have a vision board so that's also something that is interesting is that i was brought up on a vision board and not even a vision board it's a simple picture on a mirror that was one of the first times i saw it working but it reminds me of a story of a friend who said that when he was younger he had a, the bike the super bike ducati on his wall and about 12 years later he was driving around with a red ducati so there's definitely something to it where it impresses onto the imagination so they are important to have i mean i've got one up right now onwards and if so what type of things are on it wow yeah good Oprah. question <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, I, 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 do you have one? I don't have one anymore. Yeah. No. I do. I still have things I want to accomplish and things I want to do. I think there's so much more to do. And I think the great thing about life is you have so many chapters. Yes. And absolutely. they got to be all different, too. You got to mix it up. I want to run a marathon. You do? I want do to it. before I... I support you in that. <laughs> you, 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 you've done it. I've done it. I support wow. you in that. You, everybody should do one. One. Yeah, I you should do, do one. That. Let's do it, though. Wrinkle in time. We'll do a wrinkle in time marathon. You know, but I don't vision time. board anymore because I, I am a powerful manifester. Mm. And I know that. And I know, I know how to do it without physically putting it on a board. I... You see how... Just if you listen carefully to the way she said that, like, I am a powerful manifester. There's like, the assumption is so set, it's unbreaking. And that is what is truly brought about when you really assume that you are that which you are. And you'll just have that unbreaking confidence. I am a powerful manifester. It's like, I know it, everyone knows it unbreaking will powerful stuff i know how I, you you know you have to you want to know how to do it absolutely you have to meet the vibration 
You mm. can't be above or below it. It's just what I was talking about, negative energy, positive, yes. positive energy. In order to draw the thing to you that you want to come, mm. you can't want it so much that you fear that you won't get it. Mm. You have to want it. So in, in order for me to be on your vision board, you must have put it there and then you let it go. Yes. And then you weren't thinking about it every day, every day, every day. Because you can't, <laughs> it doesn't come to you that way. You have to do it and then you have to put it and then you have to meet that vibration. You have to prepare yourself to be there and ready when it shows up. And you were, Julissa, you were there. Oh. So, I mean, there you see it right there. And just to sort of break down, if I'm to use what Neville says and what she just said was simply that you can't want it so much that you fear you might not get it. So if you aren't living in the assumption that you already have it, what's going to happen? You're going to have that doubt. So when you live in the wish fulfilled, there is no doubt because you already have it. You know, it's the same thing like this when they say if you win the lottery today you aren't thinking about buying a ticket the next day all you're doing is being grateful for actually winning and that's how you have to treat all of them so that's why when people use the affirmations of i am rich or i am healthy a lot of the times there's an undertone that they aren't really recognizing that they're doing and that undertone is i'm i am wealthy i am wealthy but really it's out of fear that they aren't that and your subconscious mind will pick up that you know it'll pick up the underlying feeling that you're actually giving off so it's like i am wealthy i am wealthy and then the underlying tone is i'm actually lacking wealth or health or love so that's why when you're in the state of the wish fulfilled, you wouldn't, you would be grateful. That's how you would feel. I am wealthy. I am. And you feel that, that feeling. And so that's why she says you've got to meet that vibration, which is living in the wish fulfilled. Very important because a lot of people will say things like, oh, I'm doing my affirmations, but then it's one thing to just say something it's another thing to actually truly be in the place of where you're feeling it and to where your mind can't even really tell the difference if it from if it's a thought or if it's actually happening in your reality so this next one over here is i smile when i see it because to me this is where if couples really work together and they have that same mindset and they work on the exact sort of manifestations together it's almost impossible for it not to happen i mean you can do it on your own pretty easily but when it's two people working together they almost create this third mind it's like the mastermind and from that just everything just happens so that's why this next one is super important for that exact reason so crazy because last December we were driving along and we were listening to Christmas music and an okay. Elvis Presley Christmas song came on mm. and he had just dyed his hair dark he's a natural like blonde blonde and um, I was looking at him and he was singing along and I was like babe you need to play Elvis I'm like I don't know how but like I'm, I'm serious you need to play him and then January he was sitting at the piano he's a musician and he's playing and he's singing and I'm like I, I don't know how but we need to figure out how you can play Elvis. Like, I don't know really? how we get rights or like what we do, but like, this you is your need calling. to play him. It is your calling. And then that next month, we get a call You're saying kidding. Baz Luhrmann is doing the Elvis biopic. And we, I was like, babe, this, this is it. This is it. This is well, it. You put it out into, I mean, I believe in that. You put it out into yeah. the universe and then it came back I know. and then you got cast. I know. It's crazy. You gotta be careful with what you say. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You know, so that's just so interesting that it's just, it's these types of moments. And this is why I will continue to talk about what I'm talking about, because at the end of the day, all of this is so important and every single person can do it. We're all human beings and this is how you would do it. It's all there. There's so many books to read. There's so many stories to look at. And if you look at the underlying base, they're all saying the same thing. And that's why I always say Neville Goddard says it the best. Um, the law of assumption already assuming you have it. 
then they get it. And as you know, Austin Butler played Elvis. So just really powerful stuff. Even when I watch, even when I watch it now, I just sit back and I go, wow, man, I just get so motivated because this is what we all can do. And so if you like the video, hit that thumbs up, share this with someone who needs to see it. Like I always say, we have the access to the information, right? So passing it along to others could literally change someone's life completely. And subscribe if you want to continue following this type of content. I get motivated just by editing and watching my own videos. So I'm sure that there's at least one or two people out there who enjoy it as well. So this is just great. I'm going to keep going. And if you want to see some of my old videos, one over there, one over there, and subscribe over here. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.